Hi everyone and welcome to another CMD tutorial. In this episode we will learn how to use the command where to find various files. So if you start by looking inside our current directory, I will write tree and then forward slash f to show all the files in the directories. And uh, here you see I have mushroom.txt, snake.txt and uh, underneath this folder I have my subdirectories with code.java and file.txt. And let's say I want to find this uh, code.java file. What I can do from this outside directory YouTube here is to just write where and then try to write the name of the file. So we will write this code.java. Why did that pop up? I should right click and then control V. Yeah, like that. But what you see now when I hit enter is that actually I don't find anything. And this is because when we use the where command, we just look inside the current directory, which is YouTube here. So we could find, for instance, let's see, let's say snake.txt. Snakes, it should be, .txt. Uh, and that's just because it's in the current folder we're inside. But if we want to recurse through all directories that we have, we can instead take the last command and then just use forward slash r for recursively go inside each and every folder. And then we set dot to denote that we want to recurse inside the current directory and look for the pattern code.java. And then we hit enter. And now you can see that it was found this path to the code.java file. And uh, actually, you can, you don't need to write the whole name. You can just write code and then use this asterisk as a wildcard to say that we want to find anything that begins with code and then has something that comes after it. So now if I hit enter, we will still find code.java. And uh, what if we wanted to find this file.txt? Then we can do the same thing. We write file or let's do it like this. We use an asterisk and then we write dot txt so now whoops that went weird we want to find any file which ends with .txt and now we get uh, mushroom snake and this file.txt inside all of the folders uh, recursing down from our current folder youtube and uh, something that is uh, a bit strange you may think is that if we write i just going to clear the screen here no CLC is the command for that. If I write where and I try to find, let's say, CMD, then it will actually find uh, the path to the command or program CMD. And this is because we always search by default inside the current folder and we also search the, uh, the path variable. So if I write set here, you can see that we have a path variable with many different paths. So by by searching for anything, you're automatically searching in each and every one of these directories that we have in the path variable. And you can even specify to search in another of these variables. And the way to do that is to write where, and then the name of, uh, sorry, use the dollar sign, and then you write which variable you want to search within. So let's say we write path again, and now we will only search in the path for, let's say, file.txt. And as you can see, we, we no longer uh, find it. We can try snakes, snakes.txt. We find nothing. But if we do something more interesting, we could, for instance, say that we just want to search for anything that ends with .exe. And you may know that when you do programming, you may want to add many different uh, locations to the path so you can find different .exe files. So now, when I hit enter now, yeah, it's a ton of files. And you see the Java files here that maybe you're just interested in anything that starts with Java and then has uh, some other letters and then, then end with .exe. Then you can just run that command and you will get all the programs that start with Java and end with .exe. Uh, and there are also some other things you can do. Maybe you want to use the output of this command to do something interesting and you want quotes around uh, around the path since program files have a space in between and that could sometimes cause problems. Then what you can do is to just add the flag forward slash and then, then I think it was F and then you will get everything inside of double quotes. And if you want more information about maybe how large the files are and when 
they were created, you can add this forward slash t, I think t for time. So that's um, really cool. And I think that was everything for this time. See you in the next episode.